force on a conductor carrying current in a magnetic field we will discuss an activity in this activity it is visible to us that there is an aluminum rod so we take a small aluminum rod ab this is the aluminum rod using two connecting wires these are the connecting wires we suspend it horizontally from a stand this is a stand and we suspend it horizontal position we place a strong horseshoe magnet in such a way that the rod lies between the two poles with the magnetic field directed upward this is the north side and this is south side and magnetic field is always given from north to south and this aluminum rod is placed horizontally we connect the aluminum rod in series with the battery and a key now we plug the key as we plug the key we know current will flow through the wire and through the aluminum rod what we observe we observe that as we plug the key as the current begins to flow the rod is displaced towards the left if we reverse the direction of the flow of current if we change the direction of the polarity of the battery this side is positive this side is negative then of course the direction of flow of current will change what we will observe we will observe that the direction of the displacement is also changing and that is towards the right side the displacement of the rod suggests that a force is exerted on the current carrying aluminum rod when it is placed in a magnetic field it also suggests that the direction of the force is also reversed when the direction of flow of current is changing one thing also you are supposed to know in this situation this is the south pole and this is the north pole if we reverse the polarity this horseshoe magnet just we reverse it in upper side north pole down side is south pole so when we change the direction of the magnetic field we will observe that the direction of the force is also changing it means direction of the force on the conductor depends on two factors one is the current and another is the magnetic field to find the direction of the force we use the fleming's left hand rule according to fleming's left hand rule if we stress thumb forefinger and middle finger of the left hand such that these three are perpendicular to each other then forefinger will give the direction of the magnetic field middle finger will give the direction of the current and thumb will show the direction of the force or motion you can learn the formula f b i thumb will show the force four finger magnetic field and center finger is the current factors on which the force experienced by the conductor carrying current depends the force acting on the conductor carrying current directly related to the following quantities first there is the magnetic field strength more the magnetic field more the force so we will say f is proportional to b b is the symbol of magnetic field the magnitude of the current flowing through the conductor more the current more the force so directly proportional the length of the conductor f is proportional to l more the length of the aluminum wire or in any conducting wire more the force and fourth point that is the direction of the conductor relative to magnetic field that we will discuss in senior classes